my name is Daryl Nub, and you be Hopkins, and uh, I'm here with uh, Sue. Uh, so you want to tell them your name? Uh, Sue. Sue Smolch. Well, anyway, me and Susie's here um, at her kitchen, sitting at her kitchen table, and uh, the way that come about is me and her, we, we just two of a whole lot of voices on that. Voices of uh, Disper City and, uh, and uh, Disper, Diver, I mean, uh, uh, Diversity. Voices of Diversity. It's on YouTube. Just type in Voices of Diversity. It's the second one down, the one with the blank screen on it. Diversity. Okay, okay. Just calm down there, Susie. I mean, no point in getting upset anyway. Um, that's the way we come about uh, getting together, so to speak, was through that first one on YouTube. And uh, we thought we was uh, trying out for a movie, but uh, as it turned out, that's not that's not the deal. Of course, YouTube, I reckon, is better than nothing. But you see, I'm a house painter by trade. And uh, Sue, she needed uh, some painting in her house done. So I've been over here for about three or four days uh, <clears throat> painting. Just painting, you see. Oh my gosh, Daryl, you're blushing. I can't believe you're turning red. Come on. Oh, anyway, Susie, that's okay. Um, so anyway, um, the other day I was painting outside of her trim there, outside her house, and I got hot and needed something to drink, so I tapped on her window, and I said, uh, I said, you mind if I get me a drink from your hose pipe? Where's your hose pipe? And she said, Hose pipe? What are you talking about? Hose pipe? I ain't never heard of it. Can you believe he said hose pipe? He was talking about a water hose, for goodness sake. A water hose. Well, anyway. um. So then later on, I was in here painting in the kitchen. And I got hungry. And so I asked Susie, I said, uh, You mind if I look in your Frigidaire and see if I can get me something to eat and uh, she called it a refrigerator for goodness sake refrigerator or fridge who ever heard of this frigidaire thing so anyway I called it a frigidaire all my life either a frigidaire or ice box when I was little I called it ice box but anyway so there wasn't nothing in there nothing to drink and uh, or to eat and uh so we had to go to the store, to the grocery store up here. I call it the supermarket. Well, she calls it that. I call it the grocery store. And uh, so on the way up there, we saw uh, some girls standing outside on the corner there. And they was dressed a little skippy, you know, and had lots of makeup on and stuff. They was talking to men and, uh, you know, they what I would call a babe or a sweet thing, you know. I call them a hua. I mean, they're just tuas. You know, that's just all there is to it. Well, that's a difference of opinion. But um, anyway, we got to the grocery uh, mart there, and um, I told her I, to wait up. I was going to go get a buggy. And she... A buggy. I have never in my life heard anyone use that word for a grocery cart a buggy he's buggy he's buggy can you believe this man Susie Susie calm down Susie there ain't no point in you getting all skitty now where's your where's your pocketbook now go get you a pill my what your pocketbook you know, the thing that women carry around with their makeup and Kotec and maybe extra pair of step-ins or something like that. A co-what? Step-what? What are you talking about? You mean my purse? Are you asking about my purse? Well, I don't care what you want to call it. It's where your pills is. I'm... 
my purse is in there next to the dog bed in the dining room. Well, I'm gonna go get it real quick and get you a pill, okay? Because you're just getting real skitty on me. So anyway, um, while I'm getting her pill, I just wanted to to tell everybody that uh, me and Susie has become friends. And uh, in spite of our differences, and you see, I was raised in the South, and uh, my mom always told me that wherever you are, that um, you're supposed to be polite to people, and uh, you're not supposed to make fun of what they say. You're supposed to talk like they do. You know, I believe there's some kind of saying about when in Rome or something like that. Well, when the people move here from up north or wherever they move here from, if they don't like the way we talk, then they just need to go back or they need to uh, talk like we do is the way I feel about it. Uh, I don't know how Susie here take you people. Okay, okay, you've made your point, okay? Now hand me a Coke out of the frigid dare. <laughs> well, that's all we have to say for now. Um, we'll check in with you another time in the future, okay? Thank you now. Bye-bye.